Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and take apart your Dell laptop. In this case, it's a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series. It's an iCore Eco iCore 7 7th generation touch screen. I really like the build of this one. It's like a really slim the screen is really steady, like the hinges are nice built. Super. It just kind of heats up. The issue with this one is a client dropped the computer and the Wi Fi stopped working. So, as we go along, we're going to open it and we're going to see what was the issue with it. So, let's get it started. First thing first, you want to. Turn it over and remove all the screws that you see on the bottom, the black ones, you have to remove them. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the screws. You can do it with a manual screw or with an automatic screwdriver. This screwdriver is built especially for laptops, for electronics. So don't use your homemade screwdriver. All right. Now that we removed all the screws at the bottom, make sure we don't have anything, any screws left. So in total there is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten screws, it should be there. So next thing, you want to grab your guitar pick, which I recommend. You want to grab the bottom side where the ventilation is. You're going to put your guitar pick and you're going to just twist it a little bit. Go inside and twist. And you're gonna be the thing is gonna open it slowly. Go in the middle and twist. You're gonna hear like a clicking noise. And go to the other corner and you're gonna hear that noise. Go to the by the hinges, do the same thing. Two other hinges. There. Once you did that, you wanna put your hand in the middle to create a curve on the bottom plastic. You do that and you just lift it up slowly. Pull it up, pull it down, pull it up, pull it down slowly. And then the whole thing just comes apart. All right. Now this is the ends of it. You got your RAMs right here. You can add extra RAM in this model. You got your speakers, your battery, your Wi-Fi board, your CPU, your heatsink, fan, your hard drive. Now let's go apart and take it apart. So the only reason the Wi-Fi stopped working. It's because this flex cable that connects the Wi-Fi side to the main board, it was kind of off. So you had to pull it back in to fix the issue. So it wasn't actually a big deal. Anyway, so let's go ahead and remove the battery first. In order to remove the battery, you want to pull the battery cable out. Disconnect the battery cable right there. And then you want to remove the only two screws that are holding the battery. One, two. And next, the battery just comes out. Now you can replace your battery if you need to. There's a 42 watt battery, 11.4 amp volt. Next thing next, you can remove the speaker cable from the corner. Just pull it out and it comes out. If you want to take it out, you have to run the remove the cables from this plastics right here slowly. And in the middle, you're going to see this sensor. This is just a sensor to for the power on keys, which shows lights up over there. So we remove the cable for the speakers. Right there, right there right there there and once we get here we do the same thing remove the speakers now you got the speakers out next thing next we're going to remove the hard drive first thing you want to disconnect the hard drive from the board grab the this kind of plastic thing that they give you here just pull it up it comes out remove the three screws that hold in the hard drive caddy one at the bottom, and two at the top. 
One, two, three. Now you can lift the hard drive, and there you have your hard drive. This one is a uh, one terabyte hard drive, HGSD. And also, if you want to change your connectors, you just unplug the SATA and power cable from it, and you can just replace that. So that's about the hard drive. Next thing next, you want to remove the flex cable that connects the card reader, USB, and the Wi Fi area and on and off button to the main board just pull the cable just comes out that's it next you want to remove the wi-fi you want to screw holding it pull the board out there's two cables black and white just snap them up don't pull just snap them and then disconnect the flex cable on board now you got your flex cable right away here okay just give me i'll be back one second there's a client all right so now we remove the flex cable we remove the wi-fi we're gonna we are not gonna remove the battery for the actually I think it's it is removed. So as soon as we disconnect it, the BIOS is already reset, I'm guessing. You can disconnect the, the BIOS battery if you want to replace it. There's a model number on it, but any other one will do it. They are the same voltage, so you can get it from any HP. If you want to go buy this model, it's gonna be really expensive because the laptop is kind of expensive but you can buy it for different models the same battery is cheaper next we're gonna remove the on off switch only one is still holding it just pull it out and then just pull the jack out and there you go the model number is on it you can replace it that's the on off switch Next, we're going to remove the board, the SD card reader, with two three screws. Just left it, and there you go. Your SD and your extra USB port. Next, we're going to remove the fan, two screws holding it. Removing the fan, unplug the jack. Now you can clean your fan if you need to. Heat sink. You're gonna remove the heat sink or the screws. The screws actually won't come out. They just you have to loosen them, and that's it. They say that they have like a lock mechanism. Once you took this and screw the screws, you just lift it up slowly, and there we go. In this particular one, there's a thermal pad on top of one of the crystals, and they have a thermal paste on top of the other one. I don't know why. So now you, we're gonna clean it up, we're gonna repaste it. But next, we're gonna remove the keyboard flex, just lift up the plastic cover and then pull the cable out. And that's it. Next, you're gonna grab your tweezers and you're gonna remove, lift up the plastic white, clear plastic right here by the flex cable, which is for the monitor. You want to lift up the, the jack, there's a metal right there. You're going to lift that one up and then you're going to pull it towards to the hinges slowly. Same thing with the other one. I think this is for the touch. You lift it. Now in this one, there's a plastic cover. You have to lift the plastic up the way you did it for the keyboard. You lift that one up and then you're gonna pull it out. Now you got both of them out of the way. And there is a power jack right here. You're gonna unplug the power jack and there's only one screw holding it in place. Remove the screw, 
and the whole thing comes up is a tiny puny power jack now in order to remove the motherboard you gotta remove one two three four five screws there are five flat screws and then you can just lift up the motherboard and there you have the motherboard now you can go remove the rams if you want with two fingers just pull them apart and pull it in 45 degree angle next then there is no more next now if you want to replace the keyboard on this model it's really pain in the ass because i don't know why they don't put screws on the metal cover they just melt the plastic over so if you want to remove the keyboard you have to break this plastic uh, melted plastics all of them to remove the plastic the metal sheet in order to change the keyboard then after changing the keyboard there's no way that you can actually melt again plastic over them because there's not going to be any, enough plastic to melt them so you're going to end up gluing them putting a glue right under the thing and that's kind of shitty thing to do so now there's a backlight for the keyboard keyboard ribbon and this is the light for the on off light and that's it a ribbon cable that connects the keyboard mouse mouse pad everything to the main board and from this end you got the hinges if you want to remove the hinges in this case there's only one screw holding it on both ends one screw right there one right there removing the screws you can just go ahead and lift the hinge up just be very careful as you go lifting the hinge you have to go left the port too and then you can just slowly go ahead a little more you have to go to 45 degree angle once you're there now you can remove the cover out now the cover is out now you got your keyboard your touchpad and the top part next you have the monitor the screen you can, in order to remove the screen it's kind of shitty thing because they put a glue there is a double sided tape you have to heat it up a little bit the corners and then you're gonna go with your pick in the corner you're gonna start lifting the screen cover and then there's gonna, gonna be four screw holding the screen and that's it and so I don't know if there's nothing else I can take apart here. So you're gonna plug in, push in the hinges and close the lid while you're holding the hinges with your thumb. So we're gonna put in the screws for the hinges. The one that I was holding is right there. The other one. Now, so if you want to replace your touchpad, you got to remove the touchpad right there. The clip, remove the flex cable. There's a four clear, there's four clear chrome screws. Right there. After you remove those, you just lift it up slowly and watch out for the tape that they put here. A useless thing. And then pull it towards you, and the whole thing just comes out. And there it is. There's the mouse button, there's one in the middle, and the whole touchpad. You can replace it, there's a model number right in here. Once you have the new one or you want to put it back together, put the bottom side in first, then push it down, put the screws back in.
Once you have the screws in, you're gonna plug in the ribbon cable, push the ribbon cable inside the board. Once it's in there, just close the secure lock on it, and that's it. Now we're gonna grab the motherboard. To put the motherboard in, just with your finger left the ribbon cable for the keyboard. Put the I.O. first in. And then let it drop. Next, you're gonna plug in the power jack, and the power jack, you're gonna put in the screw, and then you're gonna put all the flat screw for the motherboard. One right there. The last one is right there. Now you have all this, you're gonna grab a rubbing alcohol. Before that, if you wanna change your thermal pad, you can do it too, but in my case, I'm not gonna change it. I'm just gonna lift the thermal pad, put it to one side. I'm gonna grab just 100% alcohol spray. And then clean the CPU. And then you remove everything. Beautiful. Now that that's clean, you're gonna grab the heat sink. You're gonna clean the heat sink, the thermal paste on the heat sink. Nicely, everything. Make sure there's no extra. <coughs> now that we clean both of them, we're gonna grab your thermal paste. I recommend you to use a Arctic Silver Five. But we're gonna play a little bit on top of the CPU. Not too much. Just rub it in. You don't need to put like a drops big drops just as long as you cover just super slowly and that's it on the thermal in here i'm gonna place it a little bit on the copper but there's a little tiny opening and that's it uh, with your tweezers you're gonna grab try not to touch these pads and put it right over there i'm grabbing the corner i'm not touching the middle i'm just gonna put it on top and next, you're gonna place your, you're gonna bend over the legs a little bit so you have a little more pressure holding the heat sink. Put the screws. Once you have the screws in, you're gonna grab your fan. Put the jack for the fan, the two screws that hold in the fan, all right guys, I'll be back one second, all right, now that we got the fan in the place, the motherboard in place, we're going to plug in the cable for the keyboard and the mouse pad all those just grab it push it in and once in, inside just pull the cover down sometimes they just don't go in too easy now it's right there next we're gonna put in the touchpad first touch screen i mean keep the ribbon cable just push it in and close the ribbon on top and next you're gonna plug in the flex cable for the screen just you have to slide in 
the cable slowly and that's it and the, that's in the place next thing next connect the power on in the corner here One screw holding okay, and then plug in the Wi Fi board and SD and extra USB hub. the two screws that are holding it next plug in the on off button run the cable to the plastics and that's it you gotta grab find the battery put the battery in the place for the bias Backboard. There's only one way it goes in, so put the battery right there. Plug, put in the RAM in 45 angle, and then push it down. You're gonna grab the flex cable. Put the flex cable in. Slide it in. Close the metal lid. Put the other side, slide it in, and then close the lid. Uh, make sure you run the cables through there. Next, grab your Wi Fi board. First, put the antennas in, just push in one by one. Right there. Uh, in 45 degree angle, put the board in. Push down, grab the lock mechanism and the screw, and put those in. Make sure it stays in a place. There you go. And then, mm, second last thing, grab the speakers. Okay, it's like this, put the speaker in the place, and it goes right there. Um, make sure you run the cable right through here, the on off button. Over and down and over. Push in the... Uh, now you're gonna run the cable through the plastic. I recommend you use a tweezer, it's faster. And then I want to lift this up. I want to run the plastic over, under. Now push it and then you're gonna plug it in from this end to the board and that's that grab the hard drive plug in the SATA cable for the hard drive put the hard drive in place you screw the hard drive which is three screws one on that end 
Mana te bara. Un an de tag. Un de push in the cable and the place. Last thing, you want to grab the battery. Put the battery in the place. Right there. You can see the writings on it. Face up. Put the screw on this end and one all the way to the bottom. Right there. And then right there, we're gonna plug in the battery. Before we plug in the battery, make sure everything is connected. Try to go from the right to left or left to right. An off button is on. Make sure you hear the clicking. The speakers in its place, the hard drive in place, the connector for the BIOS, the on off switch, the cables are nicely plugged in, pushed in. The Wi Fi board, the screws for them. Drop the cable to the hinges, make sure they're not on the way. And then the hard drive clip in, this end, pan, CPU, screws, flex cable is nicely in place, speaker, and power jack, LCD screen. So everything is okay, done. Now we can go ahead and plug in the battery. Put the battery jack in place and just pull it towards the board. There you go. Now you got the battery in the place. Now you can put the back cover in, front side first, push it in, you're gonna hear the clipping noise, so the clicking noise are good, it means they're just trying to say it's going in place. There we go, done, there's no more, now we're gonna put in all the screws that we took from the bottom side all right guys i hope you like this video if you liked it thumbs up and if you want to see more videos or if you want to help out subscribe it really helps out and if you have any more requests about any laptop any request just leave it in the comments and i will check it and i will try to get my hands on the laptop to show you guys how to disassemble it or how you can give your maintenance and change your thermal paste all right guys thank you for watching let's quickly turn it on make sure it turns on all right power button all right on this version, once you remove the BIOS battery, and the BIOS is going to restart, so it's going to turn on. You have to wait like a few, four or five minutes, and then it's going to give you this screen to set the date and time. So you have to do that. So don't be, don't be scared like you have no screen. So it's normal that it just goes out for a few minutes and the fan goes crazy, starts spinning. It's just trying to reset the motherboard and there's not going to be any change in the system you just have to set down time in the setup you click on the setup and then it's going to take you to a setup in the bios and then you're going to set the date and time so it should take me to a setup right now there we go now you go to date and time and you're gonna set the date and time and then you're gonna exit and it's gonna be all okay all right guys thank you for watching